Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Jedi Knight Edition. Now, when we left off, we were, well, right next to Chief Herquil, and we have taken a speeder, a very convenient speeder, all the way to the Giant's Spear. And now all that is left to be done is to contact Ilasov, our favorite Nikto, speaking basic, of course, via this holo terminal. Ilasov, we're at the giant spear. What have you got for us? We set probe droids to scan the zone ahead of you. Their readings, not good news. Regulator fire teams are patrolling the site. Some of Vice Commandant Grevin's finest, backed by top lieutenants from the Hut Cartel. Everyone's backing military hardware. You're the expert on regulator tactics. How do we get through your old friends? The fire teams are spread out for patrol sweeps. Take those teams out fast enough and you shouldn't have to worry about a coordinated defense. The arc construction site's behind a triple-plated durasteel blast door. It takes three separate key cards to open the thing. Only cartel representatives carry them. Guess the Huts only trust the regulators up to a point. They need to find the cartel's top lieutenants and get their key cards. Would it be possible to simply cut through the door with, say, a lightsaber? You'd be at it for days. One thing huts know how to make is strong doors. Contact me when you've unlocked the blast door. I'll let you know if we find anything else in these files. Good luck. Well, I certainly had to try. I really did have to try and ask if this there if there's a fast way, it would have been wonderful, but yes, unfortunately not. So we're gonna have a bonus mission here. Unfortunately, I don't see the necessity for a bonus mission right here because the main quests and missions of Makeb are, in my opinion, enough to warrant, well, getting levels. You really don't actually have to get levels any other way. It's literally just the main mission. That's all you need to do. So, yeah, not entirely sure about the design decisions there, but this was, I think, the first expansion. Well, technically, the kind of first major expansion to, well, it's not even really an expansion as such, but... Yeah, it's kind of the extra content, the first extra content that they were actually giving back in the day, so I guess I can't fault them too much, because obviously then, well, you know, it's actually not not that bad. It's not that bad. Obviously then their next go was Shadow of Revan, which i got to say was miles better than this, but that was then a little bit less good than Knights of the Fallen Empire, and that's actually not bad, but... Obviously, they're just getting better and better, which is actually a good sign. So, we'll just see how well that goes as time goes on, obviously. I'm pretty sure the next expansion, whatever it may be, obviously, they are still going through with all of the chapters and everything. So, that's kind of, well, not exactly annoying, but I I would appreciate less of the chapters and more of them. <laughs> yes, I would like more. Instead of them releasing every month, it maybe should be bi-monthly or something like that, but... They do end up having a couple of issues every single time they release one, so you never know. Maybe we'll have a bug-free release next time. I actually am unsure about that, obviously, but let's see now. I'd like to just do the bonus mission, because even though I don't think we need it, I'd like to complete it nevertheless, because it's there, and we may as well. There we are. Come on, eliminate him. There we are. Very nice indeed. And there we go. Okay, so now all we need to do is head on over to the Ark construction site, which I assume is where the Vidrig fellow will be, maybe. Well, let's just go into the supply tunnel and see what's actually happening here. I'm pretty sure we're going to be encountering some other unit. Yeah, so I probably should not have attacked that extra group. But let's make our way around here. Ah, there appears to be a phase. Oh, okay. Well, apparently, yes, I actually should have realized that there was going to be a phase, and the bonus mission probably would have counted no problem at all, even in here, because there's probably going to be a lot of units. Maybe? N well, there's, there's a couple. Not as many as I would have thought, and apparently a Jedi can't even step over that small little rocky step there. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that, but yes. Excellent, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, so where do we have to go? Ah, here we go. We have the three key cards, and all we need to do is eliminate... This engineer, I'm going to kill the engineer first because it nev you never know, it might actually be a healing unit. And healing units, oh, I'm certainly not particularly happy about those. I mean, I don't even have a healing unit with me right now, so I guess there is that to take into account. But otherwise, 
Kira is just going to be dealing as much damage as we can get her to deal against this arc defense unit. And I remember these on Zanval. Oh my. These literally took five minutes for me to kill because they were... Oh, I was... What, 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 what was I? I think I was like 47 still. And these are 53. Or I was 48. I actually have no idea what I was, but they were just menacing. Pilosov, we're through the blast door. Good. Seal it behind you. There ought to be a control panel nearby. Scramble the security codes. That'll keep reinforcements from following you. Schematics for the art construction site are a mess. Can't tell what half the symbols mean. Just do whatever it takes to secure the Ark, and good luck. Oh, okay. Well, that was simple enough, I suppose, but uh, I'm just a little bit worried about coming across huge droids now, because no doubt they are going to have some incredible security measures down here. No? Oh, oh okay. Apparently the door they thought was enough. So, okay, I guess that's pretty good for us. This is insane. My men are working triple overtime and we're still falling behind. Work faster. That's not... Look, we both know Vedrig's skimming off the top. If this keeps up, we'll never finish the arc. You got a big mouth, Tiero. Maybe I'll shut it for you. Put that blaster down now, or this man's conscience will be the least of your concerns. Wait. You. You're who Taboro's yelling about. Give me a hand here. He's worth a fortune dead. I actually find it very amusing that these guys think they can actually take on a Jedi. I mean, really. I don't think any of their blaster shots are actually going to even get through because obviously we have the most amazing lightsaber skills and defense as a result. So I really don't think they had any chance whatsoever, but here is Foreman Tierra. Have you noticed how all of the Foreman characters are larger fellows? I'm actually kind of a bit surprised by that. It's a little bit of a stereotype for some reason. Oh well. Republic, huh? Don't know what they're doing on Maquette, but thanks. These cartel idiots won't listen to reason. I try calling for help and get a blaster shoved in my face. The huts work us to death, treat us like slaves. No, like animals. We are here to commandeer the Ark for the people of Maccab. Once it's secure, you and your men will be freed. We're working 18-hour days, no breaks, no visits home. It's all on Fiedrich's orders. My men break their backs, building his Ark while he steals everything not bolted down. Thanks to Fiedrich, the Ark's weeks behind schedule. My crew can't finish the ship while that slimy Devaronian's selling off its components. Fiedrich. Fast talker? Horns on his head? Likes kissing up the huts? Oh, you know him. I'll tell my crew to lay low. Put Vedric in his place, and we'll help you out however we can. Oh, okay. Well, let's just see where we go to next. Obviously, we have to either go upstairs... Wait a minute. Ah, there appears to be an elevator. Okay, well... Please let me get over there quickly. Oh, that was close. Oof, very, very mirror's edge, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yes, very close. So, hmm, what do we need to do now? Ah, hello there. Oh, okay, oh. Yep, that's what happens. That's what happens when they make it so incredibly seamless that you think the platform is actually still a platform and not an elevator. But I guess we will move on here. Oh, they have hut security droids. I remember actually running around these with Zanval because I was so incredibly worried about being shot by them, but then they started to power themselves up and all kinds of fiendish things. So I guess we'll just go and talk to the horned fellow over here. 
Got the best Ugnaught engineer in four sectors on retainer. She's a genius with electro plumbing. You'll have the classiest refresher in Coruscant, boss. Still can't decide what to put in the sonic shower. Felucian Glimmerstones look so elegant, but I love Rylothian Onyx tile. Feel free to go solve your interior decorating problem. This entire facility is now Republic property. You're that Republic hero to borrow screaming about on the hollow. The cartel's so worried they're paying double to finish the arc ahead of schedule. That's on top of what they're offering to kill you. Oh, oh, oh really? Why, why, why is he deciding to be so incredibly aggressive immediately? As you can see, they also have that hook-grabbing attack, which is, well, actually quite disconcerting. And wow, Vidrig actually got eliminated by Kira in, I think, one hit. So yeah, you can kind of see he's not particularly the best fighter. And Kira absolutely just obliterated everything in the area, as we would expect her to do. Never let it be said I'm not generous in defeat. You can have this incredible marvel of starship design at a 20% discount. 30%? You were obviously hired for your negotiating skills. It certainly wasn't for shipbuilding. I'm a big picture man. Details are for little people. I admit the ship needs a little work, but she's almost ready to fly. Besides, being incomplete means there's room to customize. Let me live, and I'll have this baby ready to leave the atmosphere in no time. You won't find a better offer, trust me. Don't count on being trusted, but you can work for our people. Hello, Vidrig. Time to earn your pay. Looking forward to it. Could you spare some culto first? Haven't had contact with the outside in weeks. This is Foreman Tiero and Republic forces calling from Giant Spear. Does anyone read? Loud and clear, Tiero. We sent those Republic forces. What's the Ark's status? Is it secure? Go ahead. Give them the bad news about the Ark. It's incomplete, but... Is the Ark that important? Foreman, this is Shalem Avesta. Makeb's core is tearing apart, and we can't stop it. That Ark is our people's only hope of escape. If I send you every able body I have and guarantee your safety, can you finish the Ark in time to evacuate our world? I'll blast it well try. The Huts are surely organizing a counterattack. We're forming a battle plan to defeat it. We'll brief you back here. Hurry! We sealed the blast door to keep hut reinforcements out, but there's bound to be another way out of here. Vidrig kept a private shuttle pad nearby. You can take his transport while we get to work. Oh, okay. Well, that's simple enough, uh, especially considering it's right over here. That's exactly what I remembered as well. So let's go back to Shalem and see what he has to say. Obviously... Well, uh, it's going to be a very, very tight time limit, I would say, because obviously he needs to complete the arc before Makeb's core implodes, explodes, and generally obliterates everyone on the planet. So, well, I wish him the best of luck. Wait, what, what, what's going on here? There appears to be a plant that has been pushed over. Oh, well, I assume that is primarily because of the ground quakes? I would assume so. We can't thank you enough for securing the Ark, Master Jedi. You turned certain death into a chance for survival. The Huts won't give up the Ark without a fight. And they have an army. Our battles have just begun. You're more right than you know. We intercepted priority signals from the cartel. Every regulator in this hemisphere has been ordered to retake the Ark. At all costs. Ilesov, organize a defense force. Anyone willing to fight gets a blaster and a ride to the Ark's construction site. Go now. We'll need your shuttle navigator. Come on. Shalem, contact your allies. We'll need all the help we can get. Already done. Impending doom was an excellent motivator. My people are scouting for regulator activity and reporting what they find. We've identified one major staging area. The Fingers. Originally one mesa, until a quake redecorated the place. Now, it's held together by a series of interconnected energy fields, light bridges. The regulators store heavy artillery and weapon caches there. If those mercenaries rearm, they'll blast us to oblivion. 
Without their most powerful armaments, the Regulators won't be nearly as dangerous. They might even surrender. We'll certainly give them something to think about. We know the Regulators' army also includes war droids and a battle platform. We're still scouting for those. Translation. He's finding lots of ways to risk your life. You're trying to save your people, and we're your best chance. There's nothing to apologize for. Who was apologizing? Once you've destroyed the artillery and weapon caches in the fingers, contact me. I should have additional targets by then. Good luck. Oh, yes, I see, I see. Yeah, she definitely has the flair that I remember from the animated show. Because, I mean, really, she has the flair from Padme just right down there. I mean, obviously, it's the same voice actress, so you would have the same flair, but really very, very spot on and incredibly good because, obviously, who was apologizing? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that is just great. Very, very nice. So, I guess the only thing that is left to do is, oh, apparently we're going to be heading on out here and I actually don't even have to take a speeder. Well, I suppose we will be ending this episode of here and so i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time